Okay, so I haven't uploaded the video in a little while now, so I wanted to make something quick and easy. I've been really busy with work lately, but I do have a lot of videos coming in the next week or so. Today though, today I've got something crazy to show you that I've come across over the last few days. Everybody knows about the Russo-Ukrainian war that's going on at the moment, and my heart goes out to everybody affected by the situation. This is one of the biggest conflicts we've had in Europe in a long time and one of the biggest conflicts we've had since social media has been so ingrained in our society. This means that information during the ongoing crisis can finally be spread freely across the world, instantly across the internet. It holds both people and nations accountable for their actions. Or, like I've been seeing recently, it's also allowed these cringy TikTokers to desperately try to make the situation be about themselves. I guess these dumbasses have gotten bored of pretending to have an alternate personality that takes the form of Minecraft Steve, so they're trying their hand at politics instead. I don't know, man. Either way, I saw all of this shit, so now you have to as well. Let's watch the first video. This girl genuinely thought that she was going to get some use out of that college course she took in makeup, right? All those children's birthday parties training, painting tiger after tiger, and now, in wartime, she strikes. I like the message, but why the fuck is this your first thought? Your first idea to show solidarity with Ukraine? I don't think I'm ever going to understand TikTok, to be honest. Here's another one. I'm sorry, but this is a grown fucking man, and he sat down, painted his face, and pretended to cry while dribbling. Fucking dribbling. All in the name of TikTok likes. The less I say about this one, the better. Holy shit. This one's probably the least appropriate one yet. The bombs and the guns and the World War Three Could they only just stop and think about this? What are the messages they're teaching their young kids? Violence is the way to sort their problems out Meanwhile the soldiers in the streets getting gunned down Coronavirus thought the world to stick together As soon as the Russian tanks started rolling in This girl pumped her fist in the air It's finally her chance I think it's important here to note the amount of times she smiles into the camera, just in case you were unsure of her intentions in posting this. The next one has already gone kinda viral because of the cringe, and it's quite the delicacy. This one comes from a Z-list celebrity. I think she was on some TV show I haven't seen. Pucker your assholes, please. This one steps it up a notch. Dear President Vladimir Putin, I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. If I was your mother, you would have been so loved. Yeah, you heard that right. This woman has some fantasy where she's got little Vlad Putin suckling from the teat. And in this universe, everything works out fine. Held in the arms of joyous light. Never would the story's plight, the world unfurled before our eyes, a pure demise of nations sitting peaceful under a night sky. If I was your mother, the world would have been warm. So much laughter and joy and nothing would harm. I can't imagine the stain, the soul-stealing pain that the little boy you must have seen and believed and the formulation of thought. You sick fuck. Not only because you're pulling the whole I can fix him thing on a warmongering dictator, but because this poem is abysmal. This woman loses extra points for that. Remixing Where is the Love was bad enough, but I draw the line at terrible slam poetry. My god, they've done it. They've ended the war. Who knew that one extremely homoerotic TikTok video where they wag their fingers at the camera would be this effective? Do these people not feel the cringe? 
Does it not register in their primitive Neanderthal brains? I wish I could understand what goes through the heads of these idiots. I'm going to show one more that I found. I know this has been a short video, but this is incredibly taxing on the mind. I'm sorry for any brain cells that I've cost you this far, honestly. Yep, she's pretending to cry for the camera with fake blood on her face. I swear, the level of narcissism that exists on these social media apps is sickening. Everybody wants everything to be about them, even a war that's costing innocent people their lives. These people are so messed up in the head that their first thought is, wow, I'm going to get so many TikTok likes for this. If this doesn't show you how fucked TikTok and these cringe social media influencers are, then I don't know what will. I'm 11, I'm 11, I'm mentally disabled cause I'm 11, I'm 11, I'm 11, I'm mentally disabled cause I'm 11.